here it is after about five or six hours of prepping and I'm still not quite sure what it is. I've showed it to a few paleontologists and whale humerus, so the upper arm bone or upper fin bone <laughs> in a whale I suppose, uh, is a possibility or maybe a humerus of a turtle. So I'm hoping someone that's watching this will know what it is. And it's got this very distinctive furrow going up there. So if you do recognize it, please let me know. Yeah, it's very strange. It looks like the end of a joint over here. It's definitely broken. Yeah, that's broken off, so it would have extended this way. And I suspect it's broken at that side over there. But yeah, someone's probably going to recognize those two little things over there. The reason I'm leaving all this rock over here is because there'll be microscopic little fossils in there like the forearms, even sometimes pollen, and that's useful to date it. And the reason I'm keeping it all together is because as soon as that gets removed, it might get lost in the future. And then you've kind of lost all that information. So I'm keeping the two together and this will probably end up in one of the local museums. And that was a really fun prep. I enjoyed it. It was different to the, the ones I normally do. I use my micro air abrasion quite a bit, as you can see in the video, and it gave a really good finish over there. I've been publishing quite a few rock hounding videos, so if you're into rock hounding gemstones and agates and crystals, go have a look at my rock hounding channel. There's, I think, about 40 videos on there uh, already. You might enjoy those. Hopefully, I'll be able to give you an update on this mystery fossil soon. Yeah, I think it's definitely, definitely the end of a joint. But yeah, I'm sure someone's going to recognize that. Stay safe, I'll see you on the next hunt.